In genetics, there's two terms that are often used and confused by students. The first is genotype and the other one is phenotype. In this case, I'm going to focus in on phenotype. The phenotype is an organism's actual physical traits, what you can see. It has the same root word, phen, that is seen in words like phenomena or phenomenal. That's stuff that you see or observe. So, this is caused by genotype. So, genotype is the type of genes you have that causes your phenotype. The other thing that can influence phenotype, however, besides just your DNA, is your environment. Now, the way genotype influences it is that if you get a dominant allele, then you will sh show the dominant phenotype. So, if somebody is big R, big R, for example, with R representing, say, the uh, allele mm, to roll your tongue, then you will have the dominant tongue rolling ability or phenotype. The only way you can have the non-rolling phenotype, the inability to roll your tongue like this, eh, for example, you would need to have two combinations, sorry, two of the recessive alleles. So you need to be homozygous recessive. So again, homozygous dominant and heterozygotes, they show the dominant phenotype, while homozygous recessives show the recessive phenotype. Now, I mentioned that your environment can influence your phenotype. Some simple examples might be, my hair is brown, that's my phenotype. If I dye it red, then it's red. Was that my genes? No, that was my environment. But generally in genetics, we're not going to be talking about, so you got a guinea pig and you dye it red. What caused this? Because we know, you dyed it. What is more common to be seen and studied in genetics is the influence of environmental factors such as temperature, the amount of food, etc. Things that will alter the way your body behaves, it may turn on genes, it may turn off some genes. For example, in my genetic background, there is a propensity to have diabetes as you age, type 2 diabetes. I know that I can keep my phenotype, my current phenotype is non-diabetic. I can keep it that way if I have a good environment by maintaining the proper combination of resources. Eat right, exercise, everything else. So there you go, that's phenotype.